Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Hasban Allahu wa nima wa kiyo The Lord is my light and my salvation Whom shall I fear? And yet do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for you are with me You are with me You are with me Thy rod and thy staff they comfort me Thou prepares a table before me The presence of my enemies You anoint my head with oil My cup of aflose And surely goodness and mercy shall follow me All the days of my life And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever Amen Assalamu alaikum Welcome to Johnny's Bites We're celebrating Ghana month we encourage you to eat Ghana, to live Ghana, to wear Ghana, to show Ghana, and to love Ghana. And this morning, clothing, Grandpa, I would either wear a sonar fashion or something from Linda Ampa and the Cadlin uh, Manufacturing. So patronize made in Ghana is good. This Saturday, we'll do our Gobe Festival. You are invited to join us at the Tete Kwashi, um, the, the, the Quadrangle, and let's have a party. Thanks to all our sponsors for that one. Yesterday, I had a conversation with you about the staff of the National Commission for Civic Education who are agitated and worried and disturbed and traumatized. First of all, they've been asked to uh, sweep their own offices, which they do. They asked to clean their toilets. They asked to be cleaners at the same time, weeding and doing all manner of things. There's a deduction of five, five CDs that is taken from them to suggest that lands are going to be acquired for them or bought for them. There's also a conversation about they having contributed to a certain tier three mutual fund and that, and it's time for them to redeem, to redeem their monies. And they are being told to wait, to wait, and that they were going to get about 20% or so of the monies. They are not happy about it. So yesterday I raised a conversation, read for you a WhatsApp message that had been sent to me. Yesterday after we finished, we had another WhatsApp message come up. Sisters, bring the WhatsApp message from yesterday for me, please. We had another WhatsApp message come up from the platform of the NCC that was shared on the 24th. It says, good evening, colleagues. In fact, I have keenly followed discussions on the platform since Friday, 24th February, 2023. And I've come to the conclusion that the issue at stake is a very, very, very serious and of grave concern to everyone, including the silent majority of affected staff and even the newly recruited staff. Staff at all levels are going through excruciating pain, grief, anxiety, trauma, frustration, etc., for no crime committed. The situation is having negative effect on our health and productivity across the country. Listen well, though. It's having a negative effect on their health and productivity across the country. To enhance peace and industrial harmony, I respectfully crave the indulgence of a hardworking chairman and her phenomenal team to act swiftly to resolve this unfortunate situation and injustice being perpetrated by Old Mutual, Chapel Hill, and Fidelity Bank on Innocent Souls. So there are three institutions involved in this. Yesterday I mentioned Old Mutual, and I'll tell you uh, what Old Mutual has been saying, but there's Chapel Hill and Fidelity Bank that have been missing in the conversation for some time. Well, today we are including Chapel Hill and Fidelity Bank. We already told you about Old Beach Up. The earlier the issue is solved, the better for the staff commission and Old Beach Up. For Old Beach Up, the least said about them, the better. We have lost trust and confidence in them. That's what they're saying. They are currently suffering from trust and credibility deficit. The only hope is management whom we have confidence and trust that they will intervene quickly to avert any unforeseen circumstances. The atmosphere is very bad and to put it in a mild way for lack of a better word, we are walking on landmines and have to be cautious. Why should others be paid fully and the remaining staff treated as second hand second class uh, employers employees even though we have the managers we are the managers at the regions to be candid all is not well at all management and a union understands hmm? management and the union uh, our destinies are in your hands please act and be fast respectfully and he says we should ignore the typos about it now, this is what they sent from uh, the platform of the National Commission for Civic Education. Six to take me to the 
press release rejoined up by old mutual because yesterday when we spoke about it the impression that was giving us was that it was just old mutual that had the monies that was refusing old mutual has written you have to expand this for me so that i am able to read uh, loud and clear and i'll read the whole thing so that i'll put the questions that have been tabled in this particular one and the previous one remind you these are managers who are speaking and suggesting to us that they have a problem they have a problem and the problem has to be resolved asap if not it will affect the quality of work they give us this is from old mutual it says old mutual pensions a true a trust a leader in the pensions industry in ghana is a corporate trusted registered with the national pensions regulatory authority offering trustee and administration services to both tier two and three schemes registered under the same authority old mutual pensions trust has over 400 clients under both its master trust and employer sponsored schemes under the master trust scheme old mutual so this all of this is advert well let's go to paragraph three under the employer sponsored schemes but that's where the matter is old mutual offer only administrative services to its clients listen under the employer sponsored schemes old mutual only offers administrative services to its client these administrative services include capturing data of members providing statements and confirming balances before payment is made by the custodian our role is purely administrative and does not involve investing money or transferring money into individual accounts we have been offering our administrative services to several employer sponsored schemes over the past years one of our clients under the employer sponsored scheme is the national commission for civic education we offer administrative services to the NCCE, which is a tier three voluntary employer sponsored scheme, duly registered under the MPRA. As part of our obligations as administrators, we do not do the following on behalf of, and the emphasis there, they do not do on behalf of the uh, 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 NCCE tier three scheme. One, accept contributions or make payments into individual accounts. Two, advice on where funds are placed. Three, invest funds. Four, receive maturity or coupon payments of investment in accordance with the national pensions regulatory pensions act the ncc tier 3 employer sponsored scheme forms part of a tripartite system which includes administrators that's old mutual pension trust fund managers and custodians who take supervision from the board of trustees and this of the scheme under this current arrangement fund managers advise the board on investment and ultimate approval is given by the board where the funds are placed old mutual has no access to these funds of the ncc tier 3 old mutual would like to clarify this emphasis to six to scroll up old mutual would like to clarify its role on the ncc tier 3 scheme as an administrator and not the fund manager we under no circumstances handle funds or uh, or pay out um funds old mutual is a reputable reputa company with 170, 177 years of experience and all of that is said but last paragraph is here however on this scheme we reiterate that our role is solely that of administrators which means we are not legally mandated to make any payments to NCCE and its members. We therefore appeal to the members of the NCCE tier 3 scheme to work with the trustees of the scheme to resolve issues related to their redemption. Signed by Rita Edubwating, Marketing and Customer Experience Executive, on the 1st of March 2023. We raised the issues yesterday and they're saying that Old Mitchell is highly liquid to make any claims or benefit payments that fall due. We have never defaulted on any of our payments and have no intention of doing so due to our liquidity position. So the question now is, NCCE, where did you put the money? National Commission for Civic Education, is it true that you gave the money to Fidelity Bank Fidelity Bank, do you have the money of the NCC staff who are frustrated, disturbed? They say they are working on landmines. And is it true that you are unable to honor? Or is it the case that NCC has, been, has refused to give approval for these monies to be paid? And how long are you going to be holding on to the people's monies? That's the question I came to ask. So, Madam Kathleen, I had a good morning to you. 
I know that you as a, a human rights activist, you are an activist of all sorts. I know that you studied psychology at the University of Ghana. And I know that you understand that when the psyche of the employee is affected, quality and output is also affected. I know that you were on the streets, part of people who were asking for a better Ghana. We remember you, and we don't think that you have changed. Your staff say they have confidence in you to fix this matter. I've been on it for two days. I hope that I don't do a third and a fourth. Because the staff of NCC are deep on my heart and they are across the length and breadth of this country. The frustrations that they are raising. And now Old Butchua says, it wasn't me. It no be me do one. I am only an administrator. So who has the money? And where did you decide to put the money? And why is the money not being released? And have the employees been told why the money is not being released to them? Or we are keeping quiet. It is important that we know the people want to have their monies. Please give them their monies. Staff of the National Commission for Civic Education has said they are supposed to be helping us to promote democracy and understand it. If they have a difficulty in trying to concentrate on the work by serving as janitors and, and people who are weeding part-time farmers at the office and all of that, there is a problem. That's one. Two. What happened to the five five cities that are deducted from their monies in the name of acquiring lands for them? That's two. Three, they want their monies because their maturity date is due. They didn't sign up to be giving 20% of whatever money. They didn't sign up for that. So you cannot be giving them a haircut when they have not come to the barbering saloon. You can't do that. We all saw how the pensioners went at Mr. Fred, and this is voluntary that they are looking at the taxes they pay, they are looking at how much is deducted for social security, and they are deciding that they will have a third layer as by law for their own selves, for their own future. If in 10 years, they have waited patiently and you have done all the deductions, today they can't find their monies. It is not because you were not there at the time the deduction started, because that argument is moot. When you take on an organization, you take on the assets and liabilities. So you may not be there when the deductions were done. But once you assume the role and the deductions continued under you, you have a responsibility to the people. My friends at Fidelity Bank, good morning to you. Are you holding on to the people's monies? Why? Why? I'm asking. National Pension Regulatory Authority, good morning to you. I am just asking these questions. And I like the sweet nature in which Old Mutual responded. In fact, yes, I had a call from Old Mutual when I raised these issues. So communication is happening. I want to hear from Fidelity Bank. I want the NCC to put out an official statement to settle the minds of their people. We cannot continue to be in a country where we hold on to people's monies against their will. It is not godly. It is not humane and it is a bad thing so to do. Good morning.